When I was in the computer lab in the in the mid 70s doing my PhD, EDSAC was very much part of the mythology and the folklore of the lab. So I thought it'd be interesting to actually build one and see how it worked. We started the reconstruction project in 2010, 2011. We recruited a volunteer team to work on the machine. One of the volunteers built what today we would call a logic simulation to understand what the various parts of EDSAC were and how they would fit together. The early computing pioneers didn't leave very good records behind. Once they had built a machine and found out how it worked and how people used it, they wanted to get on and build the next one. And indeed, one of the frustrations for us as modern engineers trained in modern software and electronics is working on this reconstruction. We have to forget a lot of what we were taught to go back to the 1940s. Why bother building a machine from the 1940s? The important thing is to be able to show the, the history of computing, how it has developed from machines like EDSAC through to modern microelectronics. So by modern standards, it's very small, it's very slow, but in its day, it was competing with a PhD student sitting at a desk with a book of logarithm tables or a hand calculator, and it won that battle hands down.